Hello everyone, welcome to the Pengood Coders. In this video, we will learn how you can use custom fonts into your Android projects. You, we will be learning how to implement custom fonts and use them in our project which can be downloaded from the internet or can be from any other custom location which you want. So, we will create a new project for that in Android Studio. And let's open the wizard. Choose empty activity, click on next. Leave everything to default and I'll click on finish. So this will open my application in Android Studio where I will be using custom fonts and showing you how to use that. So to use a custom font, first we will need to download the custom font which you want to use from the internet. I have my font downloaded which is I am using currently the Harry Potter font which is so I have downloaded it from the internet and it, it is in the form of TTF file. So I'll be using this TTF uh, file to import into my Android Studio and then use the font from there. So let's head back to Android Studio and uh, from the left panel, I'll go to the rest folder where I'll create a new directory. So I'll create a new Android resource directory where I will name the directory as font. So this is very important. The name should be font and the resource type, I'll keep it as font and I'll click on OK. So this creates a new directory in my uh, Android Studio res folder and here I'll paste the TTF file. So I'll just copy it and I'll paste this file here to use it in my Android Studio project. So I can rename it. So I'll rename as Harry Potter font and I'll click on OK. So now we can see that we have the font included in my project and I can double click the font to view it. So the text and the character will look something like this. Let me show you how you can use it in your project either in a single location or you can change the entire theme of your project to have it applied all over the project with the same font. So first let me go to the design view of the XML file and then I'll click on split so that we can see it. I'll just uh, remove the project view from the window and we can see that we already have a text hello world written so let me change the font of this text to the new font which we have already included so i'll write here android font family and i'll choose at the rate font harry potter font so now you see that the font might have font has been changed but it's looking very small so let me increase the font size a bit so that it's clearly visible so I'll write here Android text size and text size I'll keep it as 48, 48 SP. So now you can see that the hello world is coming in Harry Potter font. So this is what we wanted. We can change this, uh, we can use this font to have changed the in headings or somewhere where you want in your application. Now if you want the entire application to be of a similar font so that you can view all the things. So what we can do is we can put this font custom font in your styles so that it's applicable to the whole application, whatever text you're using. So I'll go to the values and here I have themes where I'll click, click on themes.xml and here you can see customize your theme here. So here I'll put a new item name. So item name is Android font family and the font family will be Android font Harry Potter font. So now I have included this in my main theme. So all the text in my application will now come in this new font. Let me go to activity main and let me delete the font family for this and let's see what happens if the font gets changed to back to normal or it continues to be the new Harry Potter font only. So if I delete this as you can see that we have the Harry Potter font included. So that means if I have more text, then I can add to the styles and then without changing the individual fonts of any text view, we can use this new font in the whole application. So this was all for your custom fonts and how you can use it. If you found this content to be useful, then you can watch my other Android tutorial videos where I put on some project and then some tools and tricks to help you advance in Android projects. Thank you.